En question. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. Le président, please be seated. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. During this morning session, Two counsels for the accused person will be putting questions matin, to Mr. Kum Won. Deux avocats de la défense vont interroger le témoin, Monsieur Kum Won. Before we proceed to counsels to put questions to the witness, Mrs. Saikovati is now cela, instructed to report on the current le greffe present de faire status of the parties to the proceedings. Le Mr. Cycle, what the? Good morning, Mr. President. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. The parties to the proceedings are all present except Mr. Yang Sari, who is now in Yen his Sari, holding cell. Mr. Yang Sari has waived his right to directly participate in the court proceeding for the whole day today. His waiver has been submitted to the greffier of the trial chamber through his counsel. The civil party who will be testifying next is TCCP28. This civil party is par la suite et TCCP 28, call from the cette personne attend d'être convoquée par la Chambre. The president, Elle se thank you. disponible. The chamber le now rules upon the request Merci. by Mr. Ying Sari from his counsel. The chamber was seized of the waiver by Mr. Ying Sari or the request in which he asked that he be allowed to observe the proceedings from his holding cell for the full day proceedings. Pour toute la Dr. Kum Sam San, who Kum San has examined Mr. Yang Sari, indicates that Mr. Yang Sari is very fatigued or tired when he moves fatigué and he has pain in his legs and he could not remain seated for a long period of time. The doctor recommends that Mr. Yang Sari be allowed to observe the proceedings from his holding cell. In light of that, the chamber grants the request and uh, the According to the doctor, the chamber gathers that Mr. Yang Sri is mentally able to observe the proceedings, although he is not physically very well. Very well. And by way of observing the proceedings from the holding cell, Mr. Yang Sari can communicate with his counsels from there. So the chamber permits him to observe the proceedings from there for the whole day. AV boot officers are now instructed to ensure that the AV equipment is well connected to Mr. Ian Sari's holding cell so that he can observe the proceedings from there. Next, uh, without further ado, we would like uh, to proceed to counsel for Mr. Nun Chia to put questions to the witness. Nun Chia, qui pourra interroger ce témoin. Counsel Son Arun. Son Arun. Good morning, Mr. President. Bonjour, good morning, Your Honours. And Madame very good morning to you, Mr. Kumwon. Kum I am Je Son, Arun, Son Arun, along with my colleague representing Mr. Nguyen Chia. Mon confrère, je représente Monsieur Nguyen Chia. You have been questioned for some time already. Vous avez déjà été However, on behalf of Nunji, I would like uh, to pose some questions to you as follows. Client, les questions suivantes à vous you poser. testified uh, before the co-investigating 
With reference to document E3, slash E3, you said uh, you joined the revolution in 1971. And the investigator asked you another question, why you joined the revolution. With regard to these questions, or statement, my apologies, you even go further to say that uh, your father was a pro Sondak Sihanouk Khmer Isarak. I do not quite understand what you mean when you said your father was a pro Sondak Sihanouk Khmer Isarak. Could you elaborate on that? Response. The resistance to fight the French at that time, La and according to my knowledge acquired uh, through study sessions ici, and elderly people, the resistance des movement des uh, were not uh, composed of just one group. Uh, it was, uh, there were several groups, including the one led groupes. by King Sihanouk Donc, and by the Viet Minh Khmer. Et par les Khmer so Viet my Minh. whole family was in favor of the Samdak Sihanouk group, not the Viet Minh one. Donc Samdak Sihanouk était favorable et non pas favorable au groupe des Khmer Viet Minh. Council. Thank you. My second question is, Deuxième question. during the period of 1970, you said uh, you was, or you were 12 years old, vous dites, quand and you were assigned to be ans. the leader of the Et Ten House group. Nommé chef group de was maisons. that during the Lonel Authority, or que were you under the authority of Lonol the Khmer Isarak? Que vous étiez placé, ou bien étiez-vous sous l'autorité des Khmer Isarak? Response. I think even you réponse. yourself could have known the response already. Je pense que vous However, déjà la I réponse. may wish to respond that it was during Mais the Lonol regime, que because sous le régime de after Lonol. the coup d'état. The whole country was under the rule of the Lonol. So every Lonol. person, including young people, Tout le monde, who were former officials, les were et les recruited or were asked to recruited. go back to work. And I was uh, very young. Moi, très jeune. And I was also asked to work because I could read and write and I could be of some assistance uh, to them. Une assistance. And my elder brother was a, co uh, was a clerk, a um, commune councillor in other words, and he also served the king au service du roi. or some night. Au service de Samdek. So at that time, I felt that uh, only when one was at the age of 18 that he could be uh, assigned or recruited. But I was 12, but I was proved to be of some assistance. Ans, and because uh, I was que je me utile. in the family where uh, a lot of members uh, worked as the officials in the former regime. That's why I was asked uh, to uh, work. And uh, because of this, I feel that there was some kind of class contradiction. And later on, the zone conquered uh, by the Lonol 
uh, was inflicted with some class contradiction. People who came zones, from Hanoi felt that those who were under the control of Lonol or under the Sihanouk uh, group would be taken to be executed. So it doesn't matter wh whether you were young or Donc, uh, old, you vieux, were perceived to be affiliated with someone. So if I did not join and work Donc, for them, si then I would also be executed service, otherwise, because a lot of family members y of y mine were executed, including Hin and Son. Son. Council intervenes. So I would like La to defense. interrupt you here, I'm sorry. I would like to proceed to this question. You said that you were young and the head of the ten house group. Que vous étiez chef groupe de but what what would what would be your answer? You are the leader or you are the assistant of the ten house chef group? Chef the president uh, witness, could you please hold on before you respond? Otherwise, you may not be heard. You may not proceed. Sinon, votre réponse Response. According to my best knowledge, I thought that I was an assistant because I was used as an assistant as the deputy chief of the ten house group. I did not understand administrative matters or affairs. But at that time, I was allowed to do the job. And when it comes to my age, uh, it's rather confusing because uh, when the district governor had problems, they also asked me to assist him. I think if uh, at this moment in time in modern Cambodia, I would not be legal to go to work because I was too young to work. We were then in a à child uh, group uh, and we were assigned into group a youth or uh, young people group and we had different un groups group like jeunes, the peasants group and groupes, other paysans, different groups. As indicated earlier, my Comme je déjà indiqué, relatives, who were not yet old enough to join the revolution, were seen joining the revolution, revolution ahead of me already. Fait avant moi. Council, thank you. La Merci. In 1971, en when the North Vietnamese Approached Crochet, Ratanakiri, and Mondolkiri provinces. At that time, then some Dutch Norodam Sihanouk declared or appealed for the people to go to the Maki jungle. On the 2nd of February 1971, you were assigned by someone from the center because you knew uh, someone by the name of Vaughan. Is that the correct account? Response, yes it is. Question. Mr. Wong was a cadre from the North Vietnam. Can you tell the court more precisely what nationality was Mr. Wong? Was he ordinary person or a military or a cadre from Vietnam who came to induct you into, or induct you into the revolution? Essayer de vous faire adhérer à la révolution. Response. I already Réponse. stated previously. 
concerning my joining the revolution. J'ai déjà parlé de la façon After dont j'ai adhéré à la révolution. In the liberated Après zone, le coup no one was allowed to personne n'était go autorisé unemployed. à rester sans travail. Children had to work. Les enfants devaient Even travailler. Even the songs were all the pro colonial regime songs people were not allowed to sing pro sihanouk songs so les there were people coming to the country from the outside but those the majority of whom were from the north vietnam from hanoi i asked them How long they had been in Hanoi, Sam told me that they had been there more than 10 years before, or more than 10 years. They weren't there in 1952 or 53 because they were taken by the Vietnamese. These people were called uh, the Viet Minh group or network. They went to the north. They did not go to Ils the liberal country, the nord. country with freedom. They went to Ils the communist pas allés part dans les of pays Vietnam. Libres, dans les zones libres. Ils sont allés dans la partie communiste du Vietnam. And when it comes to then Prince Norodom Sihanouk, his influence Quand was appalling Anouk, and very convincing. Il avait une très grande And influence. since he appealed for the forces to join forces, we had no choice forces, but to uh, be convinced by such appeal. appeal. And at that time, I was so tied up that I could not choose à uh, any other je pas le choix. options. Je for example, option. I had only a mother. I am the only child in the family, and uh, this bond mère, tied me up la famille, so closely. Un très fort. And at my age, back then, I âge, had to go to school, and I had a lot of friends, so I could not decide to go to the jungle, Je ne pouvais donc pas so I was de well taken care of by the cadres, because Les se sont I bien de am moi. an orphan, Parce que I could be very orphelin. determined and resolute. De très résolu, I could be a role model. Déterminé. Je faire In my family, a lot of members were famille, former officials, Because of this background, I was well considered. De cela, bien vu. So both people at the district level, the Au governor of Santok district, also district convinced me to join uh, the movement and movement. comrade Wong from le the North Vietnam, Wong from Hanoi, who Nord, was Cambodian, also Cambodian, persuaded me aussi, to join the movement. So in a nutshell, I can say that uh, bref, every person was at some point engaged à un moment ou à un autre, in the moment, tout le monde est whether en you are young or old. Council Sonarun, I am sorry to cut you here, but I would Désolé like to know ici, uh, Wong, whether he was Cambodian si or Vietnamese, but now I got your answer already. I would like to now proceed to another question. Je vais à la question suivante. You said you were in Krang Slang, Tang Xia, Kampong Spu province. That was your origin, the place of birth. But then when you joined the revolution, Ensuite, you went all the way to Stung Trang. Why did you go there? Did you go there because of Mr. Wong, the president? Mr. Witness, could you please be reminded again? Wait until you see the red light before you respond. Thank you. You may now proceed.
response. I think your question has level of suspicion. Let me que votre question clarify. Est During the Israel regime, à people had to move places. They could Israq, not remain in one place for a long déplacer. time. And it was endroit. not uh, strange anyway when we fought the French and our family had uh, to change names, places étrange. of our residence. La famille devait changer de nom, and uh, the French de people, de they résidence. had their own commandos Les and their soldiers, officials, who would like to soldats, uh, also hide uh, their identity. So the two groups had to find a way Les to conceal their identity donc la manière de at leur best. Identité. My grandparents uh, originally were from Kampong Spu. However, when I grew up, I knew that I had to move to a low, uh, another occasion. Council, thank you. My next question is, at K25, you stated that uh, revolutionary flag magazines and revolutionary youth magazines were printed. At that time, the editor-in-chief, Mr. Choi, was in charge of the printing house. Do you know who wrote the two issues? Savez-vous qui rédigeait both magazines, ces deux I revues? Mean. Response. With regard to printing, Réponse. I would like to say that during the five-year period, I was somehow significantly engaged but during the three-year period or the Khmer Rouge time, I was uh, more attached to the photography section rather than to the printing house. So I do not know much about printing Donc, at this moment. Je ne sais pas grand chose de concernant cette Question. So Question. you are saying that you have no idea who could have been the authors of those uh, magazines. Is that correct? Le contenu de ces revues? Response. Pas? Yes, it is. Réponse. Effectivement. Question. Question. You said uh, you have print the revolutionary and vous youth flag, pour a revo revolutionary flag and revolutionary youth magazines. Now I have another question. Une autre question à vous poser. Had you ever read the printed magazines. I believe that you have not read all the magazines, but to what extent have you had you read mais them? Dans mesure en avez -vous lu? Response. Réponse. These magazines were distributed Ces to some individuals à only. I had Et not read them seulement. much. If I wanted to read any of the magazines, I need to si ask je lire, je Chai for a copy. And I read uh, when Goitun Confession was printed on Et the magazine. And I also read uh, the content of the magazine uh, in relation to the disappearance of my wife. However, I did not read Mais a lot je pas lu grand chose. concerning these magazines. I could have learned from the study sessions 
already to be able to write very well as a writer because normally I would go to the bases uh, the countryside and when I came back we would have a briefing the briefing session where we could exchange the information we obtained from the fields before we could write. So I was somehow obliged to every now and then read the magazines to keep myself abreast of the situation. Council, thank you, Mr. Witness. You said you had read some of the magazines. Do you still recollect? The physical vous souvenez -vous appearance de of the book, of the magazines, de ces and the text, whether it was handwritten du or it was du texte typed. Can you des tell us about this? Manuscrit? Response. I believe I already stated yesterday in my testimony that during the five-year period, uh, the texts were handwritten and people would have to write, to contribute in the writing. For example, I would be writing for the front and uh, other people would be Moi, writing exemple, for the youth magazines. Fond, However, uh, this, pour, uh, is, uh, this was part of the common work for the printing house staff, but we had uh, to divide the labor so that we could uh, focus on each particular area effectively. Uh, council, just now you said that uh, La uh, you responded to my question concerning who wrote uh, the magazines, the revolutionary uh, flag magazines and the youth uh, flag magazines. You said uh, you did not know who wrote uh, them, you only was in charge of printing. Just now you said uh, you had to contribute to the articles by writing the texts. En rédigeant les textes. My question again is, Ma question was est, donc, all the article or texts uh, in the magazines handwritten or typed? Response, I would like to respond uh, into two machine. sections. Réponse When it comes to writing, yes, it is composing, writing on uh, pieces of paper. Parlé de rédaction, But here, I'm not saying that I was a composer myself. I just copying the text uh, so that it could be then printed. Je ne que le texte And the authors of the texts, as I already indicated, were, was no other person than Mrs. John Yard uh, for the youth flag, uh, Yat youth Yat magazines. And uh, in Phnom Penh, I could also Phnom help Penh, her in writing some brief new coverage. When it comes to the revolutionary flag uh, magazines, it was the sole duty nouvelle, of bref. the party. La revue and I think I already made it clear in my statement uh, yesterday. Était, uh, de la responsabilité unique du parti. Je pense Question. Dit dans ma hier. What I would Question. like to know was when you got the revolutionary flag printed, Did you see the Lorsque copy was handwritten before they were sent for printing? Vous arrivez pour être imprimé, or were, que were they les textes type written before it, they were sent to printing houses? Au où vous le, vous les pour At about les that time, the original copy Réponse. was handwritten. There was no type written copies Il n'y avait pas de version dactylographiée. 
we hand wrote uh, those uh, articles using pen. Bằng trắng, đo pill you don't. Question. So when uh, the revolutionary flag was sent to the printing house, it was uh, basically handwritten and it was printed in handwritten form. Is that correct? Also, imprimé, mais sous forme, sous format manuscrit. Le président. Council, please repeat your question. Because there is a distinction here between the written, uh, handwritten documents and they were uh, copied, then, of course, that uh, documents remain handwritten document. And on the other hand, uh, there was a handwritten copy, uh, but those hand copy, uh, handwritten copies were sent to the printing house, and then the printing house got them typed before printing. So please make a clear distinction between these two uh, in, uh, in respect of this question. So both uh, the counsel and the uh, witness uh, should make uh, this clear distinction in response to the question or as well as to ask the question because it can be easily confused. Council, would you like me to repeat my question or you can respond to it? Response. I still maintain that I have uh, two separate answers to that question. The original copies were handwritten, and it was not photocopied, as uh, the president mentioned, because we did not have photocopier machine. And we used this handwritten original with the annotation, and it had to be copied using offset, but at that time we did not have access uh, to electricity, so we could not do that. We had to do it by hand, manually. Even if uh, there was the uh, uh, typewritten uh, document, we did not use them. Instead, we had all of them handwritten. Once we uh, finished writing, we got the staff member to copy them Donc, les by de notre hand. Équipe les à la main. Then once um, they produced many multiple copies, then we could bind Une them into a book or magazine. That was, uh, that was how we did it. But as for revolutionary flag, we used les um, format de livre. Ce que nous étions obligés the de faire. paper Pour for newspaper printing, it was a rather good uh, sur du à journaux, blank à journaux. paper. Un beau and blanc. if we did not have uh, uh, A4 papers or so, then we uh, would si use um, pas de A4, a bigger uh, paper, and we got them copy by hand. Grand. Et nous les recopions à la main. We got the equipment uh, supplied by uh, China. L'équipement était fourni par la Chine. For copying. That was how we worked with this uh, uh, printing task. Voilà comment l'imprimerie It was a technical uh, aspect, purely technical things. It had nothing to do with politics. I think that it is not that difficult to understand. The president. Le président. Uh, in order to make uh, this issue uh, clearly, uh, the de Defense Council should uh, refer specifically to the time period uh, within which your question was referred. Council, you joined the revolution since you were 12 years of age. It was in 1971, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Back then, 
Fung's revolutionary struggle. À cette époque, you were one of the Sihanoukists. Members. Sihanoukists. At that time, the Fung and the um, Communist Party of Cambodia Front started époque, working le Funk et le Front together. Du and Parti during du uh, that period, you mentioned that uh, it was written in Tongsil and then it was copied. Vous avez dit que à cette époque là, c'était écrit yes, that is correct. et puis recopié. Réponse. C'est exact. Question. Question. Now, when you see this uh, revolutionary flag, the ones that were uh, given it to you, les uh, les what de distinction can you make? Was it a, a handwritten uh, printing of the revolutionary flag, or it was the typewritten? Uh, a revolutionary flag, the one donc, um, piece of document you have before you prefer by the qui prosecution. A, qui est une version dactylographiée ou c'est une version manuscrite? This document was the authentic document. Uh, it was the typewritten document. It was not the handwritten one. This was the typewritten uh, ones, and it was uh, printed in Sun Hain printing house. Question. So if it was the case, then after you got the original handwritten copies, then you would uh, send them to the printing house for typewriting before they were uh, printed. As that copy, I know that I am dwelling on the technical aspect of the printing uh, things, but uh, could you please enlighten me on this process of work? Back then, the typewritten Réponse. document à cette époque, was used by uh, the letter molds, and uh, that letter molds were designed for printing purposes. Était utilisé pour, uh, and that faire was the moules, uh, working pr process in the lettres. printing house. Pour my brother worked in the uh, printing house, and during that uh, period of the Democratic Cambodia, I also uh, witnessed that. Uh, so uh, they would organize um, different uh, section in the newspapers, and they were uh, typewritten. And they design it into different blocks of headings, and once it was uh, prepared, uh, then we, they could type it. We did not use tongsil. At our printing house, we um, did not have uh, access to um, inks and other um, modern equipment, so we had to uh, do it by hand. Modern, uh, this, as this document uh, I see before me was that uh, the, print, the cover page was printed uh, somewhere else, but uh, we had to Use a different council. Uh, that was a really technical stuff. I, I did not want to dwell on that, so I would like to move on. When you read some of the magazines, according to you, lorsque vous lisiez certaines de ces revues, did you? see those magazines in the handwritten form or non, in the uh, typewritten form as what you are seeing now uh, in front of you? Manuscrit ou dactylographié comme uh, ce que non, vous avez ici sous les yeux. Let me clarify this. 
I still réponse, maintain that. Pour préciser. My work uh, way back in 1975 was in the printing house and also photographic section. So I provided photos and I also uh, prepared a cliché or offsetting off also because at également. that time the leaders liked my handwriting because uh, it was um, rather nice and they wanted me to write the heading or headlines of the article. But of course my handwriting was not like the uh, typewritten one, but it was legible and uh, very deliberate. But I did not read uh, the magazines uh, that much, though, because I had a lot of other works to do and I uh, I was not attached to the printing of those magazines anymore. Question. So my question really is, is this. Uh, did you read the handwritten magazines or the typewritten one? Uh, the, the written one was the one that is being proffered by the prosecution now and we're having in front of you. Did you read this copy or you read the uh, written copy? A uh, type, a uh, handwritten copy. Dactylographie. President, le genre de version que vous avez please wait until your mic is on before you speak. Document or was this une revue uh, sous forme manuscrit? I I did read uh, this copy. Uh, they Réponse. were uh, printed uh, already. Lu. Uh, by the printing house. Uh, actually, I was not involved very much in the um, in the magazines. I was actually in, uh, working in the newspaper revues, section. En fait, so there was a clear division of work uh, between the magazines and newspapers. From no time and question, I am still not clear. Earlier on, Ce you explained uh, that the revolutionary flag was written by a team of writers. And it was also uh, copied by a team of copiers as well. So you must have seen the original form or original text. Because if, if they were written by a team of writers, you must have read the written, a uh, handwritten form of the document. The president, council, the question is rather misleading because I would like you to be time bound in your question. You have to refer specifically to uh, any period of time, whether it was uh, before 1975 or after 1975. So you have to uh, make your uh, question uh, clear with that because uh, there was a uh, technological um, development over the period. So uh, uh, you have to be specific in terms of the period uh, with which you want to ask. So it would be a advisable that you divide the time period very clearly in your question so that it uh, it's easy it's easier to understand and we have listened to the testimony about this over the last uh, two days uh, starting from when he was working along the tribuary uh, and uh, you should be specific with uh, the, the, the time frame. And if you uh, try to mix things and times up, then it would be uh, confusing. So please uh, make sure that you make a clear distinction in your question. And you have to refer specifically to the location of the printing house or um, the office. Uh, where he worked as well. Uh, de ou I du note bureau the defense counsel for Mr. Kilsen Pond Je note que, uh, is on your feet. So you may proceed. You may proceed, counsel. Bonjour, merci, Monsieur le Président. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, uh, mesdames et messieurs good morning, de la Chambre uh, et à l'ensemble des partis. Uh, je viens uh, rituellement. Uh, 
poser le problème de la traduction à ces dernières minutes ont été particulièrement difficiles. En tout cas, en français, je rappelle l'importance quand nous avons des personnes chimérophones, l'importance de marquer une pause. Et là, aujourd'hui, entre Monsieur le Président, Monsieur le Témoin et mon confrère, je rappelle encore une fois l'importance pour nous d'avoir cette pause pour que la traduction du français qui intervient en dernier puisse être terminée. Je vous remercie, M. le Président. Le Président, Monsieur le Président, merci. Monsieur le Président, je vais continuer à Dactylographie était utilisée par euh, ce que l'interprète a traduit en français par les moules euh, en anglais, de letter moles. Je ne sais pas ce qu'on qu entend par letter moles, uh, It is uh, indifferent because uh, even in le Khmer, I do not président. understand it either because it was the en technical Khmer, je pas compris uh, non plus, part hein, of printing une, and it was in the printing uh, house. I did not understand how it worked uh, in the printing house. They use a pole, for example. I did not know what it, uh, what it, what it was really. Because I don't think that we expect the judges uh, to go to the printing house uh, to uh, find out uh, what uh, uh, que des juges how it works in the printing house. But uh, it would be good enough if we um, understood uh, the uh, how the printing works uh, at that time and as well at, as well as at the letter. Uh, date, whether or not the document was uh, typewritten or it was uh, handwritten, and, si le était and whether those handwritten documents were then copied using strong seal or it was uh, copied. Ah, on veut savoir si les documents manuscrits we just wanted to know um, uh, whether or not there was any. If, 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 Evolution in terms of the printing uh, techniques uh, uh, in the 19, uh, in the early 1970 to the uh, mid 1975 until 1979. So we had to uh, make a clear distinction between uh, the uh, printing techniques before 1975 and after 1975. Be because the technical aspect of the printing would differ uh, somewhat uh, in Parce the latter stage in uh, the second half of 1970s and vers la the fin des that 70 of the first half of the 1970s. Council, you may proceed. Uh, This particular point is the exculpatory um, point uh, for this answer. President interrupts. Yes, we understand, uh, Council. We know that you are def oui, representing the interests of your clients. You are trying to find exculpatory evidence uh, to support your clients. But what I am, would like to emphasize is that you have to make it specifically clear in terms of the time frame of the printing work, which is the one before 1975 and the one after 1975. Council Sonoran, thank you, Mr. Mette President. Sonoran. I would like to now Merci, move on. Monsieur le Président. Je poursuis. You told the court uh, that uh, this revolutionary flag was the genuine uh, document from the uh, Democratic Cambodia. So I would like to ask you again, uh, when did you see this uh, magazine? in a handwritten form, Quand and when did you see it in the typewritten form as the one you are actually seeing now? Sous son format manuscrit, et quand l'avez-vous vu uh, sous son format 
dactylographié comme celui que vous avez sous les yeux. Uh, the handwritten form Réponse. of the uh, flag was uh, in les during the five year war period before 1975. But after 1975, uh, the magazine were typewritten. Après 1975, les revues étaient dactylographiées. Using offsetting. So uh, once again, the uh, uh, format offset. as well as the, the style of the, uh, the uh, magazines were uh, differs in, in, in 19, from 1975 to 1979, uh, from that in the early 1970s. Question. I did not want to dwell 70. on the technical aspect. Question. I just would like to know uh, whether or not uh, you saw the handwritten uh, copy of the magazine si or the typewritten copy of the magazines. Uh, did you notice any distinction or so between the handwritten, uh, uh, the handwritten uh, magazines and the typewritten uh, one, particularly the one that is being proffered by the prosecution to you now? This document, to my understanding, was uh, printed in 1975, and the handwritten document were mainly on the uh, the handwritten one was mainly the headlines or the cover page. And as for the magazines, later on, and newspaper were all typewritten. Toutes les revues et tous les journaux étaient dactylographiés. La défense. Merci. Thank you. Question. If you look at the uh, copy you have in front of you now, en regardant l'exemplaire que vous avez devant vous, did you see this magazine uh, in the uh, first Est-ce que vous avez vu half of the 1970s, revues, ces dans la and if you compare between 70, the two periods from 1970 si to 1975 and 70, that 75, after 1975 to 1979, did you notice any distinction or difference between uh, the, the, the copy of this magazine? En, de format entre ces deux périodes pour ce qu'il y a de cette revue. This was a copied magazine, but I can confirm that uh, it Cette is a genuine uh, magazine bien, published copie, in 1975. I know that they uh, engage a more modern uh, printing technology uh, then. And since uh, it could be uh, hand uh, could be typewritten, then uh, you can see that this is a typewritten magazine, and on, as on for the cover, que, uh, it was uh, printed using offset uh, no? Question. Question. If uh, that is the case, then uh, the magazine uh, that cas, you saw during the five years period before 1975 was different from the one 1975 that you uh, later uh, saw uh, printed in 1975 and afterward. Is that correct? Is that correct? Is that correct? The format is, is basically the same. But uh, I look at this copy, même. it is in black and white. Si but when it was uh, printed blanc, using stencil, uh, it was printed en in red, the cover. And it was printed in 1975. And the printing was uh, the same in format, except the um, La, printing techniques. But the format uh, itself was the same. Le format ne pas. But in 1977, mais, what uh, is worth noting was that uh, there were no longer five red flags, but there was only one. Uh, it was changed in 1977. Even in 1976, it was not changed. There were still five flags uh, on the magazines, but in 1997, uh, one flag was used instead on the cover page of that magazine.
Thank you. I now move on to another question. In the same uh, document, E3 slash 370, your response concerning the uh, structure of uh, the government as well as the uh, People Representatives Assembly of the uh, Democratic Kampuchea. You said Nguyen Chia was the uh, chairman of the People's Representative Assembly. Chia Sim was the uh, vice chairman. This question was asked by the prosecution, but I would like to expand a little bit on this portion of your uh, answer. And after Chia Sims, there was uh, Matli, who was also the second vice chairperson of uh, Below Nguyen Chia. Uh, the prosecutor asked you um, that question already, so I would like to expand on it because you only mentioned Chia Sim as the vice chairman, uh, but uh, now I would like to add one more vice uh, chairman, vous that was Mr. Matt Lee. Uh, do you stand by this statement? Response. Response. What I was talking about was during that period of time, and I did state like that and I stand by the position because it was based on my analysis during the period. My colleagues uh, shared the same view. I do not know whether our thought was wrong, but that's what we thought back then. However, I do not know anything about this document, uh, about the structure of the government or the party. I was not fully aware of this. I had been busy going down to the fields to pay attention to this in detail. But at that time, I may be wrong, but that's what every other people around me would be thinking about. But I still feel that I was correct. That's what I thought. And when the question was put to me by the court at that time, Lorsque it was uh, referring to that period of time, and I still stand by the position. Je ma Again, I do not know the exact organization or structure of uh, uh, the positions of uh, this individual, de even though I still maintain what I stated before mais, uh, the co-investigators. Council, thank you. Uh, In response to another question, question. You stated before the co-investigators that the standing committee, rather the central committee comprised of Mr. Paul Port as the secretary of the party, when Mr. Nuntier was the deputy secretary of the party, and other people. Vous avez aussi cité persons, but you did not state uh, the members, other members. You only referred to two individuals. Vous avez deux this was your response, voilà uh, vous avez the response to the question by the Central Committee uh, in the question of the co-investigators. Now, my question to you is, according to your best knowledge, how many people were in the Central Committee? If not, just say no. Response, I don't know 
anything about this je ne sais rien but I knew I, I know for sujet, sure that uh, there were homme number one and homme number two homme in the central committee et homme numéro deux au comité central Council, thank you. Question. In your response, on the same page, E3 slash 80, au document E3 bar you said uh, you used to be a Khmer Rouge cadre. Nun Chia Kiu Sampon and Pol Pot knew me, but uh, I have never known Yang Sari and Yang Tirit. jamais connu Yang Sari ni Yang Tirit. Have you known Pol Pot, Ying, uh, Nguyen Chia and Kyo Sampan very well? Pol Pot, Kyo Sampan and Nguyen Chia, les connaissez-vous bien? Response. Réponse. I was not a cadre in the party. I was Je pas un cadre in the youth league du parti. Je faisais partie de la or ligue de a so-called outside, outside the party cadre. J'étais donc un cadre... I was in the front. Parti, comme on disait. Je faisais partie For a youth league, they had three committees. La ligue de la jeunesse avait trois comités. And people in charge in the youth league also called cadres, but not the cadres of the party. So I can conclude that when it comes to cadres, we have outside cadres, cadres and inside the party cadres, uh, cadres. Du parti. intellectuals and pillar persons were also considered as cadres but not the party's cadres, cadres. Mais pas comme des they cadres were du outside party. of the party's cadres. Des rangs des cadres I du was in charge as a cadre but I did not belong to the cadre, party. Mais je pas au parti. I was in charge When Bong Choi was absent, Bong Choi I was in charge absent, of the head of the newspaper, la tête and du journal. I was pursued as a cadre by the minister, but technically I was not the inside parlant, of the party's cadre, pas un cadre, but I was an outside du cadre. Mais bien un cadre de l'extérieur du parti. Question. Question. Mr. Witness, you said that you know these three leaders very well. You said this yesterday. Ce que vous avez dit hier. When it comes to knowing someone very well, can you be more precise? Ça veut dire quoi? Do you know Bien Paul Paul very well? And if so, can you describe par exemple, him, et si oui, his personality, de le was he de a cruel person, barbaric person, cruel, or a nationalist, barbare, a person who loved his own country, a person who had good thought before implementing or making any decision? Était-ce quelqu'un capable de réfléchir avant de mettre en œuvre une décision? Response. The President, uh, Council for the Civil Party, you may now proceed and witness, could you please hold on? Est à la partie civile. Témoin, veuillez attendre. Council for the Civil Party. La partie Mr. Civile. President, Monsieur thank President. you. National Council for Mr. Nguyen Chia is now asking the witness to give his idea on the character of a person concerned. Council, I would like to respond. These questions have been asked time again and there was never any objections. But now I put this question and it was objected, but I still insist that the question be responded. And uh, I also would like to have follow-up follow questions uh, Et aussi with des this. Questions dans le prolongement de la première. 
The President, the President Mr. Witness, you are now instructed to respond to the question. question. The objection by the legal lawyer for the civil party is not sustained. Response. Having been in contact with him or in, in our daily life with them, I can still say that I know them very well. In respect of the character, I already talked about Mr. Q. Sampan. How convincing his message could have been, how popular he was among the popular mass, he had been. The president intervenes. Mr. Witness, this question is about Paul Pot this time, and this question may link uh, to Nguyen Chia, so it is no longer about Kyo Sampan. So please Chia, compose yourself to respond to the question by counsel and try your best to be straightforward to the point in the question rather than making further statements that are not relevant. We are afraid that uh, it is a waste of time by doing so. And the worst thing is that if you try, if you try to give further statements than needed, then they are not relevant and lack of property value. Here, during the debate, it is called the examination of a witness. So we are not impeaching the witness. So it's just not a it's not difficult if you respond to the question directly. Now he asked about Paul Pot. So answer to that question. If you know him, you know his character, say so. If you don't Say no, you are not supposed to, to make any further statement or comments concerning other people or characters of other individuals because you are not an expert on this. And I think you have already been apprised of this time and again. Response. I still maintain my position that I Réponse. know Mr. Pol Pot Je very well. And let me elaborate. Bien, Pol Pot. During education sessions in 1976, he came to instruct us il est venu and he encouraged us and asked us to do good things. Il nous a donné des encouragements. Il nous However, de bien agir. I never knew that he Mais committed any other things other than the pursued personality or the person whom I know. Susceptible de His instructions were of good things. Il nous he talked, he reminded us about uh, the 12 point morality. So I could still see moraux, him as a person donc, of good personality, je le comme, uh, good character. De bien. That was a, during the five-year period. Ça, ça but la de at a later ans. date, I also Mais observed that he could have made some mistakes avait pu because he believed heavily on what he was reported en about. Effet, il, uh, Faisait largement confiance à ce qu'on lui rapportait. Council, thank you, Mr. Wun. La défense. Merci, Monsieur Wun.
What about Mr. Nunchia? de Nunchia. The person whom you claim you have known Vous very well. L'avoir bien connu. Can you describe his character? Pouvez-vous nous parler de son caractère? Response. Mr. Nunchia was a friendly Monsieur Nunchia and simple person. Était quelqu'un d'amical et de simple. He also advised us on Il nous faisait également des recommandations. Good, how to do good things Il like other people. So he's, he's bien agir. an ordinary person Comme like les autres. others. C'était quelqu'un d'ordinaire. And he only instructed us to do well Il nous disait juste a job and de bien faire son travail to live a good life, for example. Et de mener une bonne vie. Counsel, thank you. La défense. Merci. You were a middle level cadre Vous before the CPK regime, and during the CPK period, you also been PCK. involved significantly. Du PCK, vous, votre participation a été importante. Can you now tell the court? Uh, about the structure of the CPK, whether the there was different, there were different bodies like the executive body, organes, the government, par exemple, the legislative body, the assembly, and uh, also another body, whether such bodies existed during de the organes period of Democratic Cambodia. Response. Réponse. With regard to the party section, I note that uh, Om Pol was number one, Om Nguyen was number two, Om and Paul I don't know the rest. Un, and for the government, uh, Om Pol was still number one. Om Pol était numéro un. And Deputy Prime Minister, Mr. Ingsari, in charge of foreign affairs, Son Sen for the national defense, and some other Deputy Prime Ministers that I don't recollect. Question. question. What about the legislative body? I'm referring to the people representative assembly. assembly. Do you know who was in charge of the assembly? On était à la tête? Response. I already stated earlier on that and parlé. I still stand by Et my position. It was my belief and what other people felt back then, and that's all the people I knew who had hold the position, held the position rather. And uh, et I said that I knew uh, Om Chia Sim, Nun Chia, and Mat Li. And I do not know other, because we were at the newspaper section and we did not pay great attention to people in the assembly or elsewhere. Some of us did not even remember who would be the leaders 
of different sections. Because at that time, the, the information was uh, limited. Uh, it was not like the much read uh, newspapers of current Cambodia. Ce n'est pas comme aujourd'hui où il y a des Question. journaux qui sont lus par un large public. You said, uh, Mr. Chia Sim, Question. was Vous avez dit the head of Sim the people. Était à la tête the representative assembly. De so, do you know whether Mr. Chisim si held any Chiasim other positions? Uh, the president, Mr. Postes. Council, could you please uh, rephrase Le your question? Perhaps uh, you Mais could have been mistaken in, in your line of questioning. Uh, question. Vous -vous I would like to repeat it. You said. Uh, you know that uh, Mr. Nguyen Chia was the chairman of the People Representative Assembly. But apart from his being the People Representative Assembly, did he have any other function? Response. I already Response. stated that when Mrs. Yonjad was absent, déjà dit quand de Mme Mr. Nunchia was attached uh, to the propaganda section on education programs. Concernant les programmes de formation. Uh, he was there to disseminate information concerning agriculture, uh, the information he quoted from a thick book uh, by the Chinese expert, uh, and also he instructed uh, people at the editorial department uh, in their propaganda section. Du département de l'édition au sein de la section de la propagande. Thank you, says Council. I have only Merci. final question Merci. to put to you. Je reviens à ma dernière question. You were the middle level cadre, as I indicated, during the Khmer Rouge period during la or in the CPK. Des Khmer Rouge, à du PCK. Have you ever seen any document pinpointing the structure, the organizational structure of the CPK. La structure organizationnelle du PCK. Response. I think I already stated previously Réponse. that uh, in my group and I myself uh, did not pay great attention to the organizational structure of the party or the government. We were busy taking photographs and accompany delegations. I never attended uh, such uh, meetings in the assembly or in the government. I was concentrating on writing about farming, about building canals, sur la la and agriculture. So our newspapers were meant to disseminate information about these Nos confined topics. So here, you, uh, like in the modern Cambodia, the newspapers would uh, capture the traffic accident immediately, but at that time, we had to capture immediate information, update information about agriculture and farming and building canals. And uh, people felt that uh, Om Nguyen Chia was the People's Representative Assembly when Om Chia Sim was his deputy and Matli was also uh, holding this position. We read from the documents back then. It was not the idea that we just obtained quite recently. It was what we thought back then. The President, uh, Mr. Witness, uh, could you please be more precise to the question? You just said yes or no. I don't know. Or I know, so you should uh, refrain from 
répondre plus précisément. Making further soit statements. Vous savez, soit vous ne savez pas. Because Veuillez vous abstenir de If faire d'autres observations. Making more statements that not, are not relevant uh, to the question, then you are repeating si yourself. Si vous faites des observations sans rapport avec um, la question posée, we are afraid we cannot move more expeditiously because of that. Uh, If you feel that the question is not clear si enough, vous que you may ask counsel to repeat the question and then be brief in your response. Après quoi vous pouvez répondre de façon concise. Counsel, thank you, Mr. La President. Défense. I have no Merci further questions. Le ai I thank you very much, uh, Mr. Beaucoup, Witness. Kumar, I would like now to see the floor to my colleague. À mon confrère. The President, thank le you, président, Council, but we are afraid that it is now an appropriate moment for moment the adjournment already. We may observe uh, the 20-minute uh, adjournment, and the next session minutes. will be resumed uh, accordingly. Court officer is uh, instructed Monsieur to assist the witness during the break. The next session is resumed by 20 to 11. Les travaux reprendront à 11h moins 20.